and it's all joy. I want to welcome our pastor to give us the word. Let's rise up and welcome him. <laughs> Yeah. 
planted, and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my own heart and with my own soul. For thus said the Lord, like as I have so brought all this great evil upon these people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. And who knows, we are living in a new time, new covenant. Yes, in a time of a new covenant. Yes. Here, the Lord is um, speaking through the prophet Jeremiah concerning the future time. He's speaking about the new covenant. And he speaking about unity. He's speaking about one heart, one way. And here in the verse 14, he's speaking, I will have with them everlasting covenant. And here is so important. I will put in their hearts my fear. Hallelujah. I want to share with you today this afternoon some topic that we started in Sapa Russia some weeks ago, and we call this fear of God. Fear of God has, and I believe this topic is one of the most important topics to be speaking about the Christian meeting, about the church in general, about the life of the church in general. I believe it's one of the most important topics. Why the people today are doing every sin, every deeds? Why? One reason, they don't have fear of God. If you demolish, if you take away fear of God, you take away the burden, the obstacle, the wall, among light and darkness. Everything can happen behind this wall. When the person knows the fear of God, when the person destroyed the fear of God, when the person rejected the fear of God, immediately he fell down in the territory of darkness, in the territory where any kind of immorality can happen. But when the person has fear of God in his or her heart, this person is a seed of God for this generation. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. I listened yesterday was the elections in Nigeria. Bless the year, amen. amen. Praise God. I believe with some heart, brothers and sisters, new generation with the fear of God. This is the people who can transform nations. Hallelujah. We in Ukraine also have this, this big problem. We call this problem corruption. Who can destroy this system, this, this system, corrupted system? believe we as Christians we can pray to see how this system will demolish but second we can start already preparing people who will replace the iniquities amen and a new generation of people with fear of God who will replace that people who are corrupted we need to understand these principles we pray for the destruction, destruction of corruption in Nigeria. We pray for the destruction of corruption in Ukraine. It's wonderful is what we need to, to, to do through our prayers. But second, we need to start preparing a generation of people, just people with heart for God. With these arguments, with this foundation, I don't will do this, I don't will touch this, I don't will cross this border. Why? Because I am person of God. I am person with fear of God. Hallelujah. I cannot broken this burden because I am a person who has fear of God. <laughs> Say to your neighbor, I am I have fear of God. <laughs> fear of God. I have fear of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And here the prophet Jeremiah is speaking. This is one of my the proof of my covenant. This is one of my proof of my covenant. I will put in their heart the, my fear. I will put in their heart my fear and they no will leave my ways. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is part of the covenant. I want to, to speak to you simple as advertisements. When we're speaking about fear of God, fear of God not have nothing common with the human fear, with our emotional fear, our carnal fear, nothing common. When we're speaking about the fear of God, 
We're speaking out of part of his nature, his divine nature, what he shared with the people who have heart for him. He don't share his fear with anyone, with everyone, only with this requirement. You need to have a place for him. If you will have place for him, he will share with you from his fear. And you don't will separate from his ways. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who wants to be in heaven? Oh, praise God. We are in a good place. You understand? You can be in heaven because heaven is the end of our trip, of our travel. We can be in heaven only if we will keep the fear of God from all our travel. This travel, this trip, we call life. If I will keep fear of God in my heart, I will go someday to heaven. But if I lose fear of God, I will lose hell. Do you understand me? I want to invite to this place in this precious, precious day of four days, four years of anniversary, with all the thanksgiving put in my heart for these three precious people who started the work here, Pastor on a full day on the Kupu, who is today in Namibia. Sister Salomera Fan Sambi, a precious servant of God, is a big blessing for us. Let's bless God for the <laughs> And also for our brother David Kelly, who is today working in Kharkov. Yes, they started the work four years ago, and I remember this uh, time because it was the time of uh, delivery. Yes, delivery. Yes, as a moment when you feeling you are pregnant and can be time. Can be time. And I want to prophesy you, Church of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord, you very soon will also deliver. <laughs> church, he built his church, you are here with me. My wife, when I, I have the most precious wife in the world. I can be honest today with you. When I paid my wife, she was 90, 60, 90. It was for contending people. But I don't, don't pay her to keep 1960, 90 all the, the life. I pay her to someday bring me a child also. You are with me? And when she brings a child, she will be pregnant, she knows this 1969. Did you understand it? Yes. <laughs> Okay, I will continue. When the Lord, <laughs> if you don't know what is 1969, please, after a contest, is Richie Dema, she will explain. <laughs> When the Lord chose, chose his church, he chose and ch the church grow. Do you understand me? She grow. She grow spiritually and can be very beautiful. 1969. But the aim is not to give 1969, but the aim is to someday bring a child. Praise the Lord! This is what we call a church have a wonderful mission built to form another church. Yes. yes. Church is calling to give for another churches. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. This is the reason we call Church of the Holy of the Ghost prepared for delivery. Yes. Hallelujah. God is good. Let's praise the Lord together. Wonderful, wonderful 
something very special for your people who love God and who want to understand. People who understand, I need to be in this generation. I need to know what is fear of God because it's important for my life. This young man lived in Egypt. He was a son of our father in faith, Jacob. His name was Joseph. You remember Joseph? Joseph was a young man when he came to Egypt. A young man, very strong, he had very wonderful biceps, quadriceps, triceps. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He was a very, very strong man. He was a very awesome man. Yes, but overall, he had fear of God. Praise the Lord. Please open your Bible very quickly. Genesis chapter 39. This is one of the story. Please, you can read, Pastor Kenny, from verse 79. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. And she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wanted not what is with me in the house, and he had committed all that he had to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I, neither hath the neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Praise the Lord. Praise him in Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a situation when a person meets test of his life in God. You understand, brothers and sisters, every expensive thing need to be tested. You understand? If you have gold, it's something very precious. Yes? But you understand, a lot of people around want to do fake imitation of the gold. Why? For one reason, because it's expensive. Can we meet? Yes? When you are expensive, your face is very, very precious. When you have fear of God, you are very valuous in the spiritual world. You are very, very precious in the spiritual world as woman, as man with fear of God. The reason because in this moment you need to pass through fire, through test. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then sometime sent his messenger, what we call 007. 007 agent from hell. And this agent have a mission to destroy the life of the man of the womb of God. Do you understand? This is the aim. This is the reason because you need to see no beautiful face, no beautiful body, no beautiful fragrance as Mary Kay or Avon or Oriflame. Not to to live, to see the, the wonderful fragrance, but you need to see something more deep. What is inside? Who is inside? The spiritual people say amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You need to learn, you need to teach yourself. I see something, I see something, I see something, I feel something, but Lord, what are you are speaking in my heart? I need to see deep. I not simply need to feel the fragrance physically, but I want to see the fragrance from the heart, from the spirit. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. And Joseph was working, he was very, very hard working man. Hallelujah. He had to work, work very hard. And the woman, the wife of Potiphar, started singing. Oh, very wonderful boy. Strong. And came the day when she said, I want to do something. You know, exist this kind of people. This is not in Church on the Road. This is in other places. <laughs> a lot of 
this, this kind of woman put a lot of hours behind the mirror. I today want, I need today catch him. <laughs> a lot of hours, a lot of dresses. And you know, sometimes uh, in Ukraine also this can happen. A lot of poor, poor people around. Poor people, they don't have enough money to buy long things. This is the reason because too short things. <laughs> who are very poor, come to this person, sister, I want to bless you, let go to the market, I want to buy it to you normal dresses. <laughs> you have financial crisis. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 